All right, now let's take a look at all the markup tools. Now the markup toolbar is on the left hand side. I can start with uh, easy tool, the line tool. I can drag a line and click to start and drag and it will snap to any point in the drawing. So it will snap to end points and other graphics. Now if I want to delete the line, when it's selected, I just hit the little black X in the top left hand corner. Now we can do a rectangle, works basically the exact same way. Now after I've drawn it, I can also go into the properties, either by hitting the little green button on the top right hand corner of the selection window, or by hitting the, I, the uh, properties icon in the toolbar. So I go into the properties. Now I can change the line color. Say I wanted to change it to white. I can make it dashed. I can fill it if I like. I can change it to have a different fill color. Change the fill pattern. Change the transparency of the fill. Now I have a shaded area that I could use to mark up different things. Now the circle tool works very similar. I put my finger where I want to have the center point and then drag out to how big I need it to be. And again, I ha can go into the properties, change the line style and the color. Now let's say if I wanted to actually draw it the correct color that I want. So I, I want to select the tool, then go to properties. I can switch it to white. Now I can draw a revision cloud. We also have a highlighter pen, which works great. I can just say I want to highlight a wall on the right hand side. Voila, I've got that highlighted. Now, in addition to these markup tools, we also have some dimension and measurement tools. So if I hit the uh, button at the bottom of the markup toolbar, it will bring out this little flyout, and I can switch over to the measurement, which also has some text tools. So I can do a linear measurement. Click once, click again. Oops. Then drag down, and I've got my dimension. We do the same with an angle. There we go. You can see it snapped to the points that I needed. I can measure a polygonal area this way if I needed an area measurement. Then I also have this three-dimensional text markup tool. So if I switch this drawing into 3D, I will see this, I will see that text no matter what angle I look at it at. So that's great. So whether you're looking at a 2D or in 3D, you're going to be able to see any sort of measurements you put on there. And that's about it for right now.